close your eyes, watch your breath. Watch it when it comes in, watch it when it goes out. Try to stay right here so you can really know what's going on right here. All too often things happen in the mind and we're not really watching, we're not really right, we're not here watching what's happening. So we don't know what's going on. So you want to stay right here to have the mind as your foundation. Having the breath as your foundation for the mind. Excuse me. Because when you're with the breath, you know you're in the present. Whatever comes up in the mind right now, you know it's right here. Intentions come up, you see them. Other intentions come up, you see them too. Now, as the mind makes its decisions between its intentions, you see that as well. And that way you get more control over your life. Otherwise, these things go on automatic pilot. So you want to be right here to know when you're doing and saying and thinking something, why you're doing it, why you're saying, why you're thinking. All too often when you've done something and people ask you, you have to stop and think for a while, you know, why did I do that? Well, you should know right while you're doing it. Otherwise, you can't be sure that you're shaping your life in a skillful direction. So try to stay right here and be truthful to yourself in being right here. Of all the precepts, the Buddha said the most important one is the one against lying. Because when you start lying to other people, then you start lying to yourself. Then the truth is very confused. There's no way you can straighten out your own mind because you're not living with the truth. And all this fabrication of lies gets very difficult to maintain. But if you're with the truth, you stay with the truth. There's nothing you have to remember. I said this to that person. I said this, something else to another person. What you said was the truth to everybody. And at the same time, you learn how to say the truth to yourself, because this is a lot of our problem, is we have unskillful thoughts coming up in the mind and we go with them, even though part of the mind knows they're not right. And you start lying to yourself about that. And that way you never get to the truth. So to get to the truth, you want to be right here and notice what's going on right here. Make your own mind that whatever it is, whether it's something you like or something you don't like, you will admit the truth. And that way you can learn. If you don't admit the truth to yourself, there's no learning at all. This is how we grow. And when the Buddha taught meditation to his son, the first thing he taught was about the principle of truthfulness. When he talked about the precepts, he said the precept against lying was the most important one. So in your daily life, try to be truthful in what you do and say and think. And as John Sawat once pointed out, we make up your mind to stick with the principle of truthfulness, then it covers the other precepts as well. Because you know that if someone asked you about something you stole or something you killed, you'd have to tell the truth. So you don't do things that you'd be afraid to tell the truth about. So this way, the principle of lying, of not telling lies, becomes one of the foundational parts of the practice of virtue and of the meditation and of discernment. Because after all, you've got to, have to see your own defilements, and we don't like to look at them. We don't like to admit that we have greed, we have aversion, we have delusion, we have resentment, we have jealousy. But if you don't admit these things, you're never going to be able to deal with them. So you have first have to admit the truth, and then you can work with the truth and make you the truth of your mind something that's really good, the truth of your actions something that's really good. So this principle should underlie all our practice, the principle of truthfulness in the precepts, truthfulness in your concentration, and truthfulness in your discernment. That way you get to see what, what's truly good deep down inside the mind, what is, or what John Furen called the brightness of the world that comes when you really look at things for what they are, admit for what they are and then learn how to work skillfully with them. There are layers and layers of truth there, and there are also layers and layers of falsehood covering them up. To learn how to be really truthful on all levels of your practice, and your practice will give the results that you want. <laughs>